Every training at Yushinkan Kyoto is divided into three sections. Iai Kata, Kenjutsu training, and Tameshigiri cutting. What are your future dreams and goals as the next headmaster of Yushinryu? Konnichiwa, and welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. So guys, yes, I am back here at my dojo, the Yushinkan Kyoto. But today I want to take you to a very, very special journey, which is actually taking a sneak peek at what the regular training at Yushinkan Kyoto is like. So this is actually going to be my second video of the day in the training of series. I think it's a very rare opportunity to actually be able to see what kind of training the regular trainees would do. So I really hope you enjoy this video till the end. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on traveling to Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. So then, let's get started! Yushinkan, which teaches Yushinryu, is an Iai, Kenjutsu, and Tameshigiri dojo, with its headquarters in Osaka, branches in Kyoto, Tokyo, and Mie. About 100 students are training in Yushinryu, and I have trained at the Kyoto branch for about a year now, and I've been enjoying it a lot. There are some interesting, unique characteristics to this Yuha that you wouldn't see anywhere else. So I hope you can watch this video till the end to find out about it. The training always starts and ends with meditation and bowing to the Kaminana Shrine in your katana. Bowing to the Kaminana Shrine is for everyone to remember the purpose of training Budo. It is not meant to hurt others, but to train our body and mind, and to become a better version of ourselves. In almost every Iai Kenjutsu Duha, we bow to our katana at the beginning and the end of the training to express our appreciation for the soul of the samurai. Each duha style has its unique way of doing the katana bowing, but what's unique about Yushinryu is that men and women trainees do it differently. So, before we move on to watching the training, let's interview the head of the dojo, Seto Yushin Sensei. Yushin Sensei is the grandson of the founder of Yushin Ryu. As you may have noticed, 30 years ago when his grandfather made this Ryuha, he named it after his grandson's name. Yushin Sensei himself grew up together with Yushin Ryu, training for almost all his life. So, this was the first question I asked him. What do you think is the biggest attraction of training in Iai and Kenjutsu? やっぱこの日常生活で緊張する場面っていうのがなかなかないんじゃないかなと思いますね。子供の頃やったらね発表会とかなんか習い事のとか結構まあそういうのあるんと思うんですけど、ただ淡々と毎日同じことばっかりを
There are about a hundred kata in Yushin Ryu. And because we are a two katana style ryuhak, we have techniques for fighting with the uchi katana and wakisashi and using them both at the same time. And they each have standing and sitting kata too. The two most significant characteristics of Yushin Ryu's kata are that about half of the techniques are left hand draws and that there are women yai kata that only women train in. During the Edo period, the shogunate made it a rule to always have your katana on your left waist and walk on the left side to avoid hitting the scabbards against each other when two samurai pass by each other. So the samurai generally drew their katana with their right hand, regardless of their dominant hand. However, in a real fight, to win against a trained opponent, you need to do some kind of surprise attack. Other Duha styles train jumping attacks, projectiles, etc. for this, but our Duha train left hand draws. There are other Duha that train in it too, but we are the only one with so many varieties of kata. Next, the women EI kata was born to provide more opportunities for women to perform their trained skills. At every event, such as the Hono and Boot dedication performances, we take time to do the women's EI. Although the samurai in the past were almost all men, today anyone can train in their skills regardless of age, gender, and nationality. To establish a new generation, the founder of Yushin Ryu created women EI. I love this concept very much. Now that the kata training is over, let's ask Yushin Sensei another question. What is the difficulty of teaching EI Kenjutsu skills to your students? You tend to think that the sensei should teach you from A to Z. However, not everything can be taught through words, and there are important things that can only be achieved through watching your sensei perform many, many times. But trying to get the students to understand the importance of that is very difficult, and this is what Yushin Sensei struggles with the most. Then next, let's watch the Kenjutsu training. The difference between the Iai and Kenjutsu is that Iai are situations where you start the fight by drawing the katana, and Kenjutsu is where you and your opponent both already have the katana drawn out to fight. Unlike Iai training, Kenjutsu is generally trained with a partner using Bokuto wooden swords. There are two warm-up exercises that we do before we move on to doing the Kenjutsu kata. This is the first one, where two people team up and take turns running towards each other. This is meant for you to practice running with small steps, for you to be able to choose whichever foot to be in front to select any technique you want to use. And it's also meant to learn how long your katana can reach, which is essential to train kenjutsu skills safely. Next is repeatedly doing the ukenagashi with a partner. Ukenagashi is the basic parry movement, so it's meant for you to be able to do it without thinking and get used to the impact and big sound of the bokuto hitting each other. It's important that you don't only rely on your arm to do this, but also your body to dodge the attack. We do this about 150 times every lesson, so it does take a lot of our energy. Now, we finally move on to the Kenjutsu Kata training. There are the 5 Shoden 1st level and 10 Shuden middle level Kata. The person who loses will say Ei, and the person who wins will say O. Oh. This is a rule for safety so that the pair always know what each other is going to do. After you defeat the opponent in each kata, the winner points the katana toward the partner's eyes and takes two steps forward. This is meant to represent zanshin. Even if you win the battle, you keep your state of awareness and be ready to attack again. The students who are higher than the first dan will start practicing the Chuden Kenjutsu Kata. However, the Chuden Kata are a lot more complicated than the Shoden Kata. Okay, 
そうで自分の剣見るんじゃなくて相手の剣見てああそうそうそうおようになってきたそうそうそうはいそう Since Kenjutsu must be trained with a partner, it can only become good at it by repeating it many times. Are you okay? Yushin Sensei will sometimes tell us to redo a kata over and over until we can properly do it. In Kenjutsu, not only the one who wins, but also the one who swings and loses must have high skills too. You tend to be afraid of hitting the opponent's head and swing at a position where you will not hit anything from the beginning. But if you do not swing straight, the technique will not work. Then, before we move on to the last part of the training, let's ask the final question to Yushin Sensei. What are your future dreams and goals as the next headmaster of Yushin Ryu? Bimbo is bad. Bimbo is bad. The world is bad. It's 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 bad. Yushin Sensei's ultimate goal is to create a system that will allow him to make enough money in martial arts. The people of the world of Japanese personal culture generally hate this kind of idea. They think that it's filthy and vulgar that you do it for money. It is not uncommon for a teacher with decades of experience to be living on a salary lower than that of someone in their 20s. I strongly agree with Yushin Sensei's ideas. Because only what makes money is sustainable, and only what is sustainable can be preserved for future generations. What is the problem with getting paid in a way that generally satisfies the customer? It is a complete contradiction to say that it is wrong to make money while saying that you want to pass on traditional culture to the next generation. Very few people are willing to devote their lives to traditional culture even while suffering from poverty. すごいこう自分には何もないと思ってたりとか私には何もないからって思ってるような人でも例えばこの「有心流は好きで」とかじゃあ10年20年やってもうずーっとやってきて有心流のことだけはピカイチ有心流ができるんやったらじゃあ道場で支部長やってみようよとかまあそうやってこう有心流を通じてこう豊かになるというか。A traditional culture that can not enrich someone's life can only perish. On the other hand, if we can create a system to earn more money properly, we may be able to provide jobs for people who love Budo. I would like to create such a world with Yushin Sensei. And then guys, before we move on, I actually have something really important to tell you. Here at Yushin Kan Kyoto, we actually hold a very amazing two-hour summer experience where beginners, everyone, anyone can try their hands on a real katana and chop with tatami mats. You'll be able to learn from the instructor you're seeing in the video today, and also you'll have me as interpreter. One of the best things about our experience is that we are not just a experience facility or a tourist spot. We are an actual dojo that actually has more than 20 students who are training here regularly. So for example, even if you are a trained swordsman or martial artist, you will absolutely be able to learn something new. So please do check out our experience. So then let's get back to the training. Then finally, let's watch the third part of the training, the mat coming training. The students will first carry the mats that are placed outside the dojo indoors and prepare them on the floor. Every student gets to cut four mats per lesson. So you can see there are a lot of mats. Regardless of how many students there are in that lesson, for safety, we always must go one by one. The higher down students go first and the lower down students go later. By the way, because Yushin Yu believes that mat cutting is just a way to check the accuracy of your swing, we have a separate dan system for it. This means even if you're fourth dan in Iai and Kenjutsu, you could be in the first dan in Shizan mat cutting. The basic cut that you practice is the kesa angle cutting from the shoulder down to the waist. But you also do uppercuts and horizontal cuts as you get better. 
But these cuts are much more difficult. And even if you have years of experience, just with a little bit of difference, you can't cut cleanly. The students will choose on their own what they practice. But most people train for the upcoming dining exams or competitions. At the very end, Yushin Sensei also cuts some maths too. He is constantly trying to improve his skills by creating new cutting techniques that no one has ever done before. What's especially amazing is that he uses two katana at the same time, which of course makes the cut much more difficult. At the very end, Yushin Sensei cuts the mats that everyone cut into smaller pieces, so that they'll be easier to throw away in the garbage bags. I also. Tori. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching the training. Um, unfortunately, because I'm here on my own, I wasn't able to take part in the training myself, but I regularly do. At least two times a week, I come here myself to do the training too, and I seriously enjoy training with everyone. One of the best parts about YushinCon is that we don't just do EI, which a lot of modern EI Yuha tend to do. We also do Kenjutsu, we also do the Tamishigiri, so you get to have a much more deeper understanding of what controlling and using the katana is about. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and also subscribe to support us. Thanks so much guys. Bye bye. Welcome to Japan's most authentic samurai training activity. At our 90 minute experience in Kyoto, Japan, anyone can learn how to handle the katana from the modern day Yamato Musashi and Let's Ask Shogo. We will provide you with everything you need for our training. So all you need is an exciting heart ready to go on a once in a lifetime adventure. Check out the comments or description box to learn more and to make your reservation.